Nothing is more upsetting than becoming wholly engaged in a show, falling in love with the actors, and becoming eager for what lies ahead, only to learn that it has ended, even worse, on a cliffhanger. Sadly, some shows just don't make it through the mill due to poor viewership, high production costs, or a lack of interest. Here are popular TV shows that have been canceled or are coming to an end. First up, Animal Kingdom. The show Animal Kingdom aired on TNT, the cable channel starring Sean Hatosi, Ben Robson, Jake Weary, Fen Cole, Sobi Rodriguez, Layla George, and John Beavers. The sixth and last season was released on June 19, 2022, and the show ended on August 28, 2022. The TV show revolves around a boy, Joshua. Joshua decides to move in with his grandmother, the head of a criminal family, after his mother passes away. As he becomes involved in his cousin's illicit activities, his life turns. Sadly, there will be no additional seasons, and the show has officially ended. Here's a sincere thank you from all of us at Animal Kingdom. Whether you've been with us since day one or joined the Cody's along the way, thank you for one hell of a ride. Next up, Cowboy Bebop 2021. The Cowboy Bebop live action adaptation had a ton of potential in its unsuccessful first season and promised to take exciting new turns in its follow up. Sadly, Netflix canceled the show a month after it was released. The eccentric sci fi film Cowboy Bebop followed the adventures of two space cowboys, Jet and Spike, but the show never quite found its feet. Cowboy Bebop had a a lot of expectations to live up to as a remake of a well-liked anime series. Bebop wasn't the success that Netflix had hoped it would be due to a lack of the original's brilliant, somber, atmospheric design and questionable story modifications. Despite this, the show does have some redeeming qualities, such as Mustafa Shakira's jet and the development of the adversary Vicious backstory. Still, they needed more to sustain viewers' interests. Tragically, the second season of the program will never hit the big screens. Next up, Timeless, 2016 to 2018. In NBC's series Timeless, a trio of unlikely time travelers travel across time to defend the past against a mystery organization that wants to change the course of history. Unfortunately, the show was postponed twice. Following the premiere of its first season, it was sadly canceled again for the final time before being tragically renewed for a second time amidst widespread uproar. Timeless established itself as a fan favorite in its first and only two seasons, thanks to a group of exciting characters led by Abigail Spencer and an intriguing premise that offered bits of historical facts. The program was among the best time travel shows, but was never renewed for a third season due to a high budget and dropping viewership. Next up, The Dark Crystal, Age of Resistance, 2019. The Dark Crystal, 1982, an epic puppet-centered fantasy work by Jim Henson, has a prequel that delves into the background of the Thrall world Henson had constructed. The show focuses on two primary Thrall inhabitants the vile and repulsive Skeksis, and the tranquil elf-like Gelflings. It tells the story of the ascent of the wicked Skeksis and the demise of the friendly Gelflings. The prequel of the original was an unforgettable addition to the universe of Thrall. It brought a new perspective to the lore and world building while sticking to the original. The Age of Resistance became a critical success thanks to its fantastic puppetry, intriguing set designs, and captivating plot. However, Netflix was forced to cancel the show before it ever received a second season due to its comparatively high budget. Even though it did not last long, the show brought much joy to viewers. Next up, Magic City 2012 to 2013. Next up, we have the show Magic City. It was a sparkling, polished thriller about a hotel owner named Ike Evans, played by Jeffrey Dean Morgan. He had strong ties to the mob. It was set amid the idyllic beaches of 1950s Miami. Ike must navigate the shady underworld connections while attempting to keep his family and company out of it. Magic City introduced all the flash and glamour of the 1950s, resulting in a visually stunning ambience. However, beneath all the extravagance lay the grim truth of shady dealings and violent mafia. It was an intriguing program that occasionally prioritized style over content, but it was still enjoyable. After its second season, Magic City was cancelled, ending on a cliffhanger. Next off, Batwoman. As one of the CW's final TV projects of the Arrowverse, Batwoman initially centered on Kate Kane, Ruby Rose, Bryce Wayne's cousin, who assumed the vigilante role in his absence. After Rose left before season two, Ryan Wilder, Javicia Leslie, a homeless ex-con out to avenge her mother's death, took control of the Batwoman identity. The series first suffered a setback when Rose left after just one season. Fortunately, Leslie's portrayal of Batwoman made a way for the simplified remake that possibly improved Batwoman. It's a shame that this program wasn't 
wasn't given a chance to succeed, as it had new, original character interactions and several intriguing, growing plot lines. Next up, Archive 81. In January 2022, the podcast-based show and horror series Archive 81 premiered on Netflix. The show's main character, a young named Dan, was hired by a far-off research facility to preserve a collection of videotapes. Melody, a PhD candidate working on research about an enigmatic housing complex, could be heard on the tapes. They both gradually realized that things might not be as they seem as they probe deeper into their respective secrets in their separate times. Sadly, Netflix terminated Archive 81, a one-off series, despite the show's apparent popularity among viewers. It is disappointing that it was cancelled soon, given its positive reviews, and it was a notable hit among horror fans with some scary and disturbing scenes. It's easy enough to get sucked into the show's narrative because of its original time-bending mystery. Next off, Saved by the Bell. This contemporary remake of the late 1980s, early 1990s teen-centric classic combines the new and the old by reuniting some of the original cast members with a new group of multicultural youngsters as its main characters. The first episode of the series features Governor Zach Morris closing several low-income schools and forcing students to move to Bayside High, a more privileged school, the original setting. This show was one of the premier original shows produced for Peacock. The reboot, which expanded the original's primary focus on a group of privileged Bayside High school students, identifies itself as a unique TV program by casting a more extensive mix of characters. It was a masterful move and one that deserved to be rewarded with many more seasons. It successfully blended this diversity with well-written humor and a generally upbeat mood. Next up, Blackish. The fan favorite series, Blackish, has finally come to an end. Viewers of Blackish have seen Dre develop strategies to profit off and advertise various businesses throughout eight seasons. Dr. Dre assisted companies in broadening their reach, and Blackish was developing into its thriving and extensive franchise for Disney, ABC, and creator Kenya Barris. On April 19, the comedy's eight season run will end, but the Ish universe will still exist. Numerous spin offs have already been produced, such as Mixed Ish, which lasted from 2019 to 2022, and Freeform's Grown Ish, which will now continue with a new focus when Junior, Marcus Scribner, enters college at the same time Zoe, Yara Shahidi does. Even though fans were sad to see the show end, it was good to see it end on a cheerful hand rather than being stuck on a cliffhanger. Next up, Raising Dion. Raising Dion follows a widow struggling to raise her little boy alone after her husband passes away. It offers a novel perspective on the original tale of a superhero. The situation becomes even more challenging as her youngster displays extraordinary powers. She must assist her kid in coming to terms with his powers while defending him from anyone who might wish to take advantage of his abilities. Together with her husband's best friend, an engineer at a biotech business, this program has built a plot that is both relevant and engaging thanks to a superb teenage Josiah Young Dion performance and an excellent combination of real life and dream fulfillment. With an 83% approval rating on Rotten Tomatoes and enough viewers for its second season to debut in Netflix's top 10, it is evident that both critics and audiences agree it would have been lovely to see this treasure continue, but perhaps it was a victim of Netflix's subscriber problems. Next off, 4400. The plot of 4400, a reboot of the 2004 television series, centers on a mystery event in which 4400 people who vanished over the previous century suddenly appear in Detroit. None of them have aged a day and have no recollection of what happened while they were gone. Some people start to demonstrate superhuman powers as they struggle to adjust and understand what has happened to them. This reboot was harshly compared to its predecessor, despite not being among the worst remakes. This ultimately worked against it because the book's central mystery had already been solved, making it less likely to be compelling. However, this iteration of 4400 has made an effort to carve out its niche and deserves a chance to find its audience. These shows were the ones who deserved to at least get another chance for them to find their audience. Do you think these shows deserve to be cancelled? What other shows are on the verge of getting cancelled? Make sure to let us know your thoughts down below. Thanks for watching.